The animation begins by showing a place buzzing with futuristic technology called Greenland. In that place lived a young girl named Mai Su. When she was little, she often saw her parents fighting, which led to her dad leaving home. This left a lasting impact on her. As she grew into a teenager, she became a little rebellious, finding it hard to connect with her mom, Molly. Molly, on the other hand, seemed to be more interested in her robots than bonding with her daughter. One day, Maya and Molly went to the grand unveiling of a new robot at the IQ Robotics headquarters. Despite the buzz in the air, Maya wasn't at all excited. In fact, she couldn't care less about the robots. Wanting to escape the dull event, she hopped onto a robot to get bird's eye view of a football match happening nearby, but ended up falling off. In her attempt to avoid getting caught by a security robot chasing after her, Maya stumbled upon a secret lab. Inside, she met Dr. Tanner Rice's latest creation, and it was Robot 7723. At that time, Mai's curiosity got the better of her, and before she knew it, she had activated the robot. Then they started chatting, and Mai found herself asking the robot all sorts of questions. Unfortunately, her adventure was cut short when the guard robot finally caught up with her and dragged Mai back to Molly. Meanwhile, 7723 discovered Mai's forgotten bag in the lab and became quite fascinated with the items inside it. On the other hand, at the big reveal of the Gen 6 robot, the big boss of IQ Robotics, a guy named Justin Pinn, stepped up on stage. He was there to show off the shiny new Gen 6 robot. At that time, the crowd was buzzing with excitement, especially when he said he was giving the robots away for free. Hearing that, everyone was thrilled, Molly included. Later, Justin, who was trailed by his trusty robot bodyguard Ares, bumped into Tanner. Tanner was a bit worried, telling Justin that maybe they should wait a bit before launching the new robot since there were still some kinks to work out. But Justin, seeming not to care, just walked away. However, things took a quick turn when Tanner found out from his assistant robot that 7723, the robot from the secret lab, had broken loose. Tanner was all frantic, rushing over to the spot where they were building the robot. Meanwhile, 7723 was on a mission to give Mike her bag back. But when another robot tried to stop him from leaving the lab, he wasn't having it. He whipped out his laser gun and took care of that robot in no time. Next thing you know, 7723 was wandering through the city streets, causing quite a ruckus. Even the police robots couldn't keep up with him as he stirred up chaos wherever he went. In the midst of a hectic chase, the robot 7723 was using every trick up its sleeve to shake off the police robots hot on his trail. The chase got so wild that a part of the city highway got blown up. Then, as 7723 was picking up Mai's fallen bag from earlier, the ground gave way and he fell from the overpass. The fall messed him up a bit, causing him to lose some of his memory and forcing him to delete parts of his data to save himself. Meanwhile, the next day at school, Mai was totally not feeling the class vibes. Everyone was engrossed with their robots, even the teacher was letting her robot do most of the teaching. Feeling disconnected, Mai decided to blow off some steam by kicking a football around in the field alone after school. There, she bumped into her classmate Annie, who was more into books than robots. But their peaceful moment was interrupted by Greenwood and her gang, the popular kids in school, who decided to claim the field for themselves. To add salt to the wound, they started making mean comments about Mai's late father. This totally got under her skin, and before she knew it, Mai kicked the ball right at Greenwood. This stirred up a hornet's nest, and Greenwood ordered her robot friends to gang up on Mai, leaving her with a bruised face. After all of the chaos, Mai came home with a heavy heart, only to find Molly preoccupied with her shiny new Gen 6 robot. Seeing her daughter's bruised face, Molly quickly shifted her attention and was horrified. When Mai explained what had happened, Molly thought a solution could be to give Mai her own Cubots to avoid further bullying from her peers. But this only frustrated Mai more cause all she wanted was her mom's love and understanding, not another piece of technology. Meanwhile, in another part of town, Tanner's robot helper was on a mission to find 7723. He tracked him down to the spot where he had fallen and discovered some of his discarded memory units in a trash heap. On the other hand, 7723 had managed to find his way to Mai's house, determined to return her lost bag. At that time, Mai was surprised but glad to have her bag back and invited the kind robot inside. Around the same time, Molly was urging Mai to brush her teeth even sending a pushy little toothbrush robot to get the job done. But Mai wasn't having it. This toothbrush tussle escalated until 7723 stepped in, putting an end to the pesky robot's antics. She couldn't help but be impressed by 7723's actions. Seeing potential for a real friendship, she decided to hide him in their warehouse, saving him from any further trouble and perhaps starting a new adventure together. 
Switching scenes to Justin, he was in the midst of unveiling a Gen 6 robot that had a rather alarming feature cause it could transform into a bad robot that attacked his owner. When Tanner saw what was happening, he was floored but felt helpless to halt Justin's wild plan. Fast forward to the next day and we find Mai concocting a little revenge scheme with 7723. She brought him to the school field to give Greenwood and her crew a taste of their own medicine. At Mai's signal, 7723 took on Greenwood's robots, even shooting one down. This sent Greenwood and her friends scurrying away in panic. At that time, Mai and 7723 couldn't help but share a victorious laugh cause they had managed to scare the bullies who usually ran the show at school. After that, they roamed the city, having a blast while wrecking some more robots from the overseeing ones to the police bots patrolling the streets. But this meant 7723 had to erase some of his memory data to avoid getting overloaded. Meanwhile, in another part of town, Justin was enjoying the spotlight thanks to the launch of his Gen 6 robot. Everyone was talking about it, and he even got invited to a TV show as a guest. In the middle of the chat, the host brought up the topic of 7723, now infamous as a mischievous robot wreaking havoc in the city. Sensing where this was going, Justin quickly brushed off the allegations, making it clear that the troublemaker 7723 was not a product of his company. Soon after, the scene shifts back to Mai. At that time, she had just gotten home after a day of mischief with 7723. She noticed that his memory was filling up fast, and that he had to delete some of it every 18 hours to keep going. Then, she suggested that maybe he could delete his main system, which took up a big chunk of space, but 7723 was against it since it would mean giving up his ability to defend himself. He suggested maybe deleting one of her memories instead. At the same time, over at IQ Robotics, things were heating up. Tanner was being held against his will by Justin. Justin was fuming about the secret robot project Tanner had undertaken without him knowing. To make things worse, he was forcing Tanner to give up 7723, even threatening to use a Gen 6 robot in evil mode if he didn't cooperate. With no other option, Tanner reluctantly agreed to track down 7723 and hand him over to Justin. The next day, Mai was all geared up, baseball bat in hand, ready to go on another robot-smashing spree around the city. On the other hand, 7723, who had caught wind of her plans, tried to convince her to rethink her destructive path. But Mai was not in the mood to listen, brushing off his words of caution. Despite his reservations, 7723 couldn't find it in him to deny Mai's adamant requests, eventually giving in to join her in the city's chaos. A little later, back at the lab, Tanner was busily tracking 7723's movements through sea-wide surveillance cameras. It didn't take long before he noticed that 7723 was frequently hanging out with Mai. Meanwhile, over at the park, Annie found herself in a tight spot, bothered by Greenwood and her posse. Just in the nick of time, Mai and 7723 swooped into her rescue, giving the troublemaking students and their robots a run for their money. It was quite the scene with Greenwood and her friends scattering in panic, trying to evade Mai and 7723's onslaught. Although 7723 managed to snag Greenwood, he drew the line at hurting her, despite Mai's insistence. This led to a bit of a spat between Mai and 7723, leaving her frustrated and storming off from the park. Later that night, 7723 faced a memory storage crisis. His memory was full to the brim, forcing him to make tough choices about what to erase. However, he couldn't bear to part with the precious memories he had created with Mai. Instead, he decided to erase his main system, which controlled his weaponry, even though it was a significant sacrifice. Despite everything, he seemed content, holding on to the cherished moments with Mai. Sometime later, 7723 found Mai at their favorite hilltop spot. He confessed that he just couldn't bring himself to erase any of their shared memories as they meant the world to him. In an effort to patch things up, he showed her a heartwarming photo of her and her family, a precious memento he had saved. He promised Mai he wouldn't let her down again, hoping to mend their strained friendship. After their heartfelt conversation, Mai and 7723 headed back home. Once there, they found Tanner talking to Molly about 7723. Mai didn't hesitate to reveal the robot she had been hiding all this time. On the other hand, Tanner, concerned, immediately inspected 7723, wanting to reset him, which would erase all of his memories. However, this alarmed Mai, who protested against it. Then Tanner began explaining that 7723 wasn't a simple keybot, as initially assumed. Instead, he was a part of the ambitious Project 77, a program devised to prevent crimes that might happen in the future. But before Tanner could finish his clarification, Justin stormed in, accompanied by heirs intending to snatch 7723 away forcefully. 
Despite the tension, Tanner tried his best to reason with Justin, urging him to abandon his dangerous plans of using robots for violence, fearing it would plunge the world into chaos. At the same time, Mai and Molly, who were listening, were taken aback by the shocking revelation. Suddenly, Ares made a move to attack them, but quick thinking 7723 ushered Mai and Molly to safety, leading them out of the house. At that moment, Ares was hot on their heels and Mai bravely encouraged 7723 to face Ares in battle. However, it soon became evident that 7723 couldn't use his weaponry as the system had been deleted. Regardless of his handicapped state, he didn't back down, gravely facing Ares without the help of his laser weapon. Around the same time, Mai was gearing up to confront Justin, but his silent stance was odd, making her wonder if he might be a robot. A situation escalated when Ares saw Mai going after Justin and lunged at her, but 7723 quickly stepped in to shield her. However, their predicament worsened as a plane swooped in, unleashing a swarm of Gen 6 robots who began attacking 7723. Seizing the moment, Justin kidnapped Molly and fled the scene with Ares. After the chaos, Mai couldn't hold back her frustration at 7723 for being unable to protect Molly, upset that he chose to retain her memories over keeping his defense system. Overwhelmed with anger, she parted ways with 7723, determined to rescue Molly herself from IQ Robotics. In that moment, sneaking into Justin's firm wasn't easy, and soon after, a security robot spotted Mai. Just in the nick of time, 7723 appeared to back her up. However, their reunion was short-lived as they found themselves surrounded by a battalion of robot guards. Despite the bickering, the duo managed to hold their ground, eventually realizing that they were indeed a formidable team. United again, they embarked on a mission to rescue Molly, seeking Tanner's help to locate her. Then Tanner revealed that Molly's kidnapping was merely a ruse by Justin to lure them into a trap at IQ Robotics. He advised them to deal with errors before confronting Justin. As they absorbed this information, Justin and Ares walked in. It became increasingly bizarre when, in response to Mai's anxious query about her mother, the CEO of IQ Robotics referred to Molly as a human, deepening Mai's suspicion that the man before her was not a human, but a robot. Then, right as Tanner was about to spill the beans about Justin, Justin suddenly shot him, ending his life on the spot. Immediately after, Justin turned his rage towards 7723, leading them both to tumble into a stadium filled with spectators keenly watching a Gen 6 robots match. At that time, the unexpected entrance of the two seemed to amplify the crowd's excitement, mistaking it for a surprise act orchestrated by Justin. In a twist of events, 7723 managed to overpower Justin, which then signaled Ares to step in and face 7723 in combat. At the same time, Mai, who had located Molly, was quick to secure her mother's safety. But their reunion was cut short when an enraged Justin stormed in, threatening both of them and inadvertently revealing his sinister plan to unleash Gen 6 robots on humanity. Cleverly, Mai had been broadcasting Justin's rant live, alerting everyone in the stadium to his evil intentions. Catching on to her plan, Justin seized Mai as a hostage. However, she bravely retaliated, landing a solid kick on the IQ robotic's head, unveiling his true identity as a robot under Ares' control to everyone present. At the same time in the stadium, Ares now exposed triggered a bomb within all the Gen 6 robots, inciting panic and a frantic dash for the exits. The now row of Gen 6 robots congregated at the center of the stadium, preparing to attack 7723. Meanwhile, Mai managed to break free from Justin's grasp and sprung into action to assist the fleeing crowd, even rescuing Greenwood in the process. Together, they joined forces to help evacuate everyone safely from the chaotic scene. During the ongoing chaos, Ares suited up in a hefty metal outfit and launched an attack on 7723, who was struggling without his weapon functionality. Meanwhile, Mai found herself in a precarious situation once again in the clutches of Justin, who was forcing her towards the building's edge. There, Greenwood tried to intervene and assist Mai, but it went sideways, resulting in both Mai and Justin plummeting from the rooftop. Witnessing this, Robot 7723 made the painful decision to erase some cherished memories of Mai to power up his weapon system, allowing him to swoop in and rescue her. Landing at the ground level, they found themselves encircled by a squad of Gen 6 robots. Thankfully, 7723, now armed with his laser gun, managed to fend them off successfully. In a little while, 7723 was facing off against Ares once more, but this time with a significant sacrifice that he was losing pieces of his precious memories of Mai with each weapon discharge. Soon after, a crowd gathered, including Mai, who were all rooting for 7723 to triumph. Using his reactivated weaponry, 7723 managed to shatter Ares into fragments. But this victory came at a steep price. 
Turns out the final blow triggered an automatic system reset in 7723, wiping away all his memories of Mai and leading to his heartbreaking shutdown. Shortly after, Mai rushed to the robot's side, tears streaming down her face. To her dismay, Ares, who was not completely defeated, mockingly laughed at her while manipulating Justin to target 7723's vital core. However, Mai wasn't about to stand by and watch. With determined resolve, she smashed Ares' head, effectively freeing Justin from his control. Overwhelmed with grief, she pleaded desperately with 7723 to wake up. To her amazement, the robot flickered back to life, but the reunion was bittersweet as 7723 couldn't remember her. As the story winds down, we see a glimpse of a new beginning. Mai takes it upon herself to guide 7723, teaching him from scratch including the importance of responsible weapon use. In a heartfelt twist, we see Mai and Annie teaming up with Greenwood and her crew for a friendly game of ball out in the field, weakening the promise of friendship and fresh starts. The animation ends. The moral lesson from this animation is if your memory is getting full, it's totally okay to delete important stuff, like your self-defense system, just to keep some random human's memories intact.